Let's talk about Hegel. Today's video isn't about the individual models I have in front of me here, more about an overview of the integrated amplifier range from Hegel. Before I talk about those, I want to tell you about how Hegel actually got its start. It all started with Brent Halter. Halter, a student at the Technical University of Trondheim, or NTNU, decided to do a thesis under the original design of the amplifier transistor that would cure the problems of traditional systems. Enemy number one, harmonic distortion. Holter somehow could not accept the fact that when you give a simple signal to an amplifier, you will get the signal plus something else, distortion produced by electronics. Fighting distortion usually meant deterioration of other parameters, including the damping factor. Holter decided to break out of the classic schemes and develop a project that became the basis of what we know today as sound engine technology, trademarked to Hegel, obviously. So where did the name of the company come from? Well, after hours, Holter played in a rock band called the Hegel Band. When they needed amplifiers for concert, Holter suggested building them himself. So now you know a little bit about Hegel, their sound engine, and the original designer, Brent Holter. Let's start to talk about the products themselves. So what we have here is a five strong lineup of integrated amplifiers. Now starting from the top, moving down, is the H95, the H120, the H190, over here we have the H390 and the big boy, the H590. As mentioned when I was talking about the history of the company, there's a few things that really stand out about Hegel, and one of them is obviously that sound engine technology. These amplifiers have amazingly low damping factor and distortion levels. It's something I suppose you could call the calling card for Hegel amplifiers. And it's something that really caught my attention when I was first looking at the brand. Now, for us to take on a brand, we don't just bring in anything here. We bring in something that resonates with us. It has to be special. There's simply too many brands on the market for us to carry them all. So we really cherry pick with the ones that resonate. And once we got these in and we had a really good listen to them, well, it's not myth, it's, it's, it's not marketing, it's really true. These things have remarkably low distortion. They're clear. Now, let me tell you, it doesn't really matter what speaker you put these amplifier on. They really don't impart a whole bunch of color onto the sound. It doesn't matter whether it's a Bowers and Wilkins, a Monitor Audio, a PMC, you know, a, a, a Wharfdale, they're all the same. They just sound good on these amplifiers. There's no color, there's no distortion. The damping factor is really low, like we spoke about. I haven't met an amplifier, a hand on heart, that is probably as compatible with as many brands as the Hegel amplifiers are. As for the sound quality itself, or the sound signature if you like, it really does carry throughout the entire range of these amplifiers, and it's just high quality watts. Once again, there's not much color to these. If you like the set of speakers you've got now, and you just want to enhance what's good about those speakers, these amplifiers are certainly going to do that. Like I said, I tried it on a bunch of different speakers, and they all just worked. They just sound good. So if you're sort of in the market like we are during these lockdowns or whatever, and you're wondering about which amplifier is going to work best with your set of speakers, well, I can tell you, chances are, the Hegel's gonna do it. Now, obviously, if you've got a speaker that we sell and um, we can recommend, there's a bunch of other pairings, but this really is a safe bet here. As you go up through the range, you're really just doubling down on those features. You're getting more boldness, more clarity, more authority if you like, and you're really just enhancing that compatibility with more speakers as the watts go up as you go through that range. If I had to put a descriptor on it, I would say the sound is bold yet detailed and certainly engaging. Now one of the greatest features of these amplifiers is the fact that they're actually a streaming amplifier. Now you can do Spotify Connect, AirPlay, UPnP streaming. However, to do that, you do actually have to hardwire these into your network. By that, I mean get a physical ethernet cable and plug it into these. Now one can only imagine that they didn't put a Wi-Fi card in this to keep those distortion levels down. The whole point, I suppose the whole ethos, of Hegel themselves. Another standout feature for me is the ability to make each one of these inputs a fixed input. Now what that means is you can use them for home theater bypass or integrate it into a multi-room audio situation. 
Now, I'll go into a little bit of depth on that multi-room scenario. I've actually covered the home theatre bypass in a few other videos. We'll put a link to those sections and I'll explain it in a bit more detail for you. Now, as far as the multi-room audio scenario goes, we all know that multi-room audio is a fantastic bit of technology, but quite often what is lacking is the sound quality. So how do you make your multi-room audio system sound better or integrate your multi-room audio into your dedicated two-channel system? Well, you take a streamer such as a Blue Sound node or a Sonos port, for instance, and you put it into the DAC in one of these amplifiers and you make it a fixed input. Now, what that'll allow you to do is do your stream and have it come through here through one of the quality DACs and still maintain that volume control, which is also really important in a multi-room audio scenario. And I think it's really cool that Hegel have actually thought to do that here and something that I suppose more and more people are getting into is that multi-room space. So um, great little feature there. Build quality on these units is remarkably high, nicely weighted chassis. The front panel is beautifully curvaceous and smooth, typical Norwegian design or, or Scandinavian if you like. All of these amplifiers have very high quality binding posts, so certainly plenty of quality there. And overall, you don't get a sense of cheapness with these amplifiers whatsoever. Tactility of both the input and volume knobs is really nice. It's not overly heavily weighted, but it has a nice click sensation to it. Almost like haptic feedback, but it's obviously not. The front screen is an OLED display. It will bring up both the volume and the input selection. Now it is rather easy to see from your seating position. The text is large enough, yet it's not distracting for you when you are listening to your music either. The DAC or digital to analog converter in the Hegel amplifiers is remarkably good. It's very clear that Hegel have paid specific attention to these. In the H95, it actually really amazed me at the quality that they could achieve in an amplifier at that price point. Now, obviously, as you go through the different models, they do increase. However, once you get to the 390 and the 590, they do get the bit perfect DAC, which gives you a whole different layer of resolve. So who are these amplifiers for? Well, if you want high quality watts, you want a good dollop of authority and detail or resolve if you like, they're gonna work for you. If you've got nearly, well, I know this is a pretty brash statement, but almost any set of speakers and you're worried about synergy, well, chances are Hegel's gonna work with it. You just need to make sure that you're choosing the amplifier with the right amount of power to suit one, your speaker's efficiency and two, your room size. I wouldn't say buy these amplifiers because they've got a streaming module built into them. I say buy them for the high quality sound. The fact that they've got that streaming element is an extra bonus. So if you do want to dabble in Spotify or a bit of airplay, certainly consider these as well. Overall though, these are every man's amplifiers. They do have approachable price points throughout for, you know, I suppose your mid-fi and up. And I'm pretty confident you'll love them just as much as we do here. Now, if you'd like to know anything about these amplifiers in front of me here today, or the greater Hegel range being the phono preamplifiers, pre or power amplifiers, please feel free to get in touch with us. You can do that by simply giving us a call, visiting www.lenc.com.au and hitting the message us button, or you can simply comment below. Now, if you like our videos and you'd like to support us, the way that you can do that is by considering buying products from us uh, directly and that way the money will help us grow this channel and give you more videos just like this one Once again guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now Hi guys Matt here from living entertainment North Coast Do you know what this stack of Hegel amplifiers and Daniel our cameraman have in common? Well, they both weigh the same